Oh, oh, oh. Welcome back, GMB Nation. This is your host, GMB Grace, aka GMB Bags, and today we're doing Green Screen versus YouTuber. Um, this is featuring uh, Photoshop, so this is really Green Screen versus Photoshop versus YouTuber. <laughs> uh, sounds like a crazy mashup, but um, yeah, I thought I would thought um, hope so that you enjoy this today's video. Sorry for my stuttering. Just getting used to the vocals on here. I'm recording with the mic today. Um, so let's get into today's video. First, you would go to Place Embedded. Once you click on Place Embedded, you'll find the video or footage per se. Yeah, footage, because this is Photoshop. You find the footage you're looking for, um, for the photo. Um, I'm looking for this photo in particular. Um, well, that's just an example, like Photoshop or Adobe um, character. This is that's for another video. For this one, this video in particular, I'll be going to pictures, uh, camera roll, and then I'm picking the picture of my choice that went with this thumbnail of today, which is this one. I click on that. After I click on that, I will like slip, slide, slide the mops down. And then I'll press place. And now I go to find my other image in which I use for the today's thumbnail. And that is, now it's important to make sure that you organize your files so you can find your stuff easily. Mine's is uh, in a file, but it's a little scattered around in this specific file, so I'm gonna organize it later. But at least I know what file is in. Uh, my name is Photoshop file, so it has to be in there. So with that being said, I'm gonna choose one of these photos and get to work. And I think it's this one. We're gonna find it. I think it might just be this one. Let's see how it goes with that. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Already prepared thumbnail instead. Uh, because of the photo that I already had. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you from scratch how I started. So this is how the thumbnail looks from scratch or half or the halfway point. Um, um, this is, um, you can use the tool to highlight the areas and type in that you want. Um, you can also change the color of it. I personally had it in black, but you can change it. It's an array of colors, various colors that you can choose from to change the text of the color. Next up, we got Versus. Versus is one of the colors that I decided to choose for this. Um, white was the color I decided to choose for the Versus acronym. Um, there, again, there's a various uh, amount of colors for it. And also, YouTuber, needless to say, is uh, you can do the same thing, highlight and change a different color, type in whatever font you want. Um, I decided to choose both for these fonts, today's fonts. This is the move selection tool. You can use it to move around whatever you want. For example, I'm going to move this towards the left of me, and then I'm going to scroll over and move this towards the right of me. The, the right of me. Scroll over just a little bit to show you an example. And that's how I use the move tool. 
to put that back together. You can use Control Z to put that back together. If you're using a Mac computer, you can use Command Z. That is Command Z. If you're using PC, it's Control Z. I'm using the PC today. Um, this is what I own personally, personal computer. Um, scrolling back up, going to the file to find my actual fire emoji. And this is what really catches everybody's eyeball. This is like the clickbait photo that everybody is intentionally and patiently been waiting for. Um, so yeah, let's find that. I put in a specific file. This is the fire PNG. You can find this easily on Google. Just type in fire PNG. And this is what I use for some of my previous uh, thumbnails, um, and then including this one. And you just size it down. I'm using the move tool to size it down. or Well, I'm using the transform tool to size it down. Um, the move tool is pretty helpful as well to move it around the way you want it to be moved. Um, you can use control T um, as a quick com command key to get to where you're going to transform the key. And you can uh, rotate it around however you please with the moving tool. I specifically put it in my arm to make it look more believable, like I'm actually about to get caught on fire. Um, so yeah, that about sums up how I did it all. Um, not that hard, pretty easy. If you're um, familiar with Photoshop, for my Photoshop um, viewers, for those that are not familiar with Photoshop, I would suggest uh, um, to request down below whether you want me to explain more of how Photoshop work um, or we can continue forward with the next video um, that I have already pre-recorded and ready to go and I'll be dropping that soon. Um, there are many other YouTube, various YouTube videos with Photoshop on it so for people that are not familiar with Photoshop I would suggest to look up those YouTube videos. If you specifically want to see me create one then yeah. Right now, I am in currently processing and saving this as a PDF. This is PDFs so are usually printable document files, um, just in case I might want to print this out down the line. I wouldn't suggest it, but um, this is just a personal thing I wanted to do. Now, um, you can also do uh, Control. Let's Alt Control Shift S. This saves the image. Um, on the web. It's, it allows you to save before the web. This is how I save things for my YouTube thumbnails uh, specifically and I'll um, save for web and then you keep it as a JPEG. They have other options like PNG, G, um, GIFs, all that. But I'm specifically saving it as a JPEG. Um, I'm going to give it a name. Uh, let's see. YouTuber versus how about YouTuber versus child well yeah youtuber versus green screen yeah we'll just do that and then we're going to say that uh, scroll back up and that ends today's video guys i hope you enjoyed what i did today it's just a simple quick way of just using your references and applying it in Photoshop. Um, I just happen to have this clickbait uh, <laughs> thumbnail for you guys. So that's how you make a clickbait thumbnail.